three ways that we can batma degje or batma jete using this forceful step, the resistance of the floor, as well as some momentum, strength, and control. We're building our endurance and our capacity for grand batma, for leaping grand jete, and many other steps to follow. I'm Blank Stevens using they, she pronouns, and creator of Ape Life Coach helping multi-passionate creatives dance through their difficulties and take leaps of faith. Today we're leaping into actually a step that would be a preparation for all kinds of leaps, a batma jete or batma degage, where we're brushing our leg along the floor and then it disengages or throws into the air. And today we have batma degage three ways. Way number one, will be batma degage a la seconde, so to the side. With or without the support of a bar, you could rest your hand onto your ballet bar or your other supportive wall or surface as we reach it down and out, as in batma tendu, but this time with a little more force, carrying the leg out into space opposite what would be second position. And we can do that on both sides and we'll do so eight times. A little bit like the beat of a drum, maybe even with some bounciness and speed eventually. Batma degage a la seconde. Looks like this from the side. Version number two is batma degage en croix in the shape of a cross. And the cross we make in ballet is formed by extending the leg in this, in this instance in batma degage to the front, then the side or a la seconde, the back or derriere, and again to the side. So en avant or devant, a la seconde, derriere, a la seconde. So there's four tendu that form the en movement, changing directions each time. We'll also do eight of those, which will amount to two rounds on quoi. Five and six and seven and eight. The third version of Batma Degage that we'll try out today is Batma Degage on clash. Clash is like a bell that rings, ding, dong, and in this case, the foot is brushing up into the air through first position we pass as it brushes to the front and through first position to the back. In this case, we'll do seven of them to bring us ending in the front, and then we'll close on number eight. We have Batma Degage, or Jete, à la seconde, en quoi, and en cloche. Let's try it with or without the support of our bar. We'll start after seven and eight. Let's set go. Seven. Switching sides to the left or second side. A six. A seven. En quoi? En quoi? Back and side. Again, five. Six. Seven. Second side, on qua, like a cross or a T. X marks the spot again. A six, a seven, on clush like a bell. First three, four, five, six, seven. We close and change our weight to the second. We go a bit faster. One, two, three, four, 
आर आकर्षक I'll try again. Try the music again for those second pieces. Last one. Let's try that again from the top, but quicker. Stay at your same speed if that's more appropriate for you. Alyssa Cohen will take five, six, seven, just like that. Switching eight. On clock. And second side. Ready for unclutch. Four, five, six, seven. Switching. Six. We can try to do it one more time. All a second on clock. On clash. Have fun, play with it, and enjoy. I'm looking forward to lots more ballet fun with you online this summer, on YouTube, and in my Zoom studio, and here in the studio in Tancho Tan's realm. And also, if you join my email list, then you'll be aware of any new classes, workshops, my current weekly offerings, discounts, additional resources from me and other creators as well. So go ahead and sign up for that. I'm so glad you could join me and I'll see you here again next time.